Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking LEGO Dimensions, and so much news that came out of the Kinda Funny stream. LEGO Dimensions co-director Arthur Parsons sat down with Greg Miller of Kinda Funny Games, where there were definitely a lot of things that I had to tell you guys about. First off, at the end of the live stream, they revealed the Wave 7.5 figures, including Batgirl, Robin, and Excalibur Batman. During this portion, Arthur said that we didn't get the regular Batman in the story pack because you already have one. And he showed us that Batgirl's ponytail is actually removable, which means I was right about her having a unique ponytail in this one. These figures were not playable for the demo, so we didn't get to see any sort of footage. And I thought it was very funny that when asked why this wave was called 7.5, Arthur had no idea. Greg and Arthur also talked about Green Arrow and Supergirl, and a lot of your concerns about them being very hard to get, and whether they would have a wider release. While we don't have any news to share at this point, they are in talks about this, so we'll have to wait and see what they come up with, but it's good to know that our feedback is being heard. And on to the gameplay. New for this year, we have this side console that sits just beside the main gateway. This gives quick access to Vorton, aka all of your levels from year one, as well as the shard, your year two levels, and battle arenas. And even though they scrolled through it very quickly, we got a lot of information about battle arenas, including all of your options. From this screen, you can choose a single battle, a tournament, or the battle shop. So there may be ways to either use the in-game or real-life currency to buy power-ups or different arenas. When setting up the battle, you'll select your team color and be prompted to place your character on the flashing toy pad. And then each character after that does the exact same thing. As you may recall, there's a few game options, including Capture the Flag, Objective, Base Bash, and Tic Tac Boom, which is the one they played in this demo. We also got a look at all of the battle arenas for Wave 6, including Adventure Time Pillow World, Adventure Time Breakfast Kingdom, the A-Team World High Security Stockade, Ghostbusters Connection Dimension, the IMF Field Agent Trading Facility, and Hogwarts Quidditch Arena by Moonlight, which is the one they chose for this demo. This game is pretty straightforward. One of you guys is it, and you're walking around on a large Lego bomb. You can move a bit faster than the other characters, and it's your job to tag one of the other characters as a fuse slowly ticks down on the bomb. If you're the last one with the bomb while the fuse runs out, you blow up and lose one of your three lives, which is a bit like the three balloons from Mario Kart Battle Mode. And just like Mario Kart, there's also power-ups. Some of the power-ups I saw include Blur, Reverse Controls, Float, Big Jump, Scale, Super Speed, Swarm, Fireball, Treacle Feet, and Cleanse. This is a really robust power-up system, as some of them attack all three enemies or give you some power. If you lose all your lives, you play on as a ghost, and you can even earn a power-up to earn an extra life to bring you back in the game. And all the characters have been balanced against each other. For instance, Supergirl can't fly, which should make things more fair. We got to see the shard again in this demo, and we were able to see almost all of the gates that we haven't seen yet. So here we can see the one for Ghostbusters, A-Team, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Knight Rider, Powerpuff Girls, Teen Titans Go, The Lego Batman Movie, Beetlejuice, Lego City Undercover, The Goonies, Gremlins, Sonic, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, and Adventure Time. Speaking of adventure worlds, there's going to be so many great hidden areas, including lots of great interiors. Here you can see some from Adventure Time, but Arthur even mentioned that in Harry Potter, we'd get to go inside the Chamber of Secrets, where there's a portal puzzle, and the Ministry of Magic. There was also a lot of random things that he slipped in that I wanted to make sure you guys knew about. For instance, he mentioned that in Wave 8, we would have Goonies and Lego City undercover. He said then afterwards would come Powerpuff Girls and Teen Titans Go. So those may be coming in Wave 9. There was also a lot of information about voiceover work. For instance, the actresses from Ghostbusters all came in to do all new voice work. And Eddie Redmayne, Ron Perlman, Ezra Miller, and many of the cast of Fantastic Beasts also came in. That was definitely a lot to unpack for one live stream, so I hope you guys could stick with me here. But I know just like me, you guys want every detail I can find about the upcoming waves. Everything I'm hearing here makes me even more excited, and I can't wait till next Tuesday when everything comes out. Arthur mentioned that there are over 200 people working on LEGO Dimensions, and when you get to see footage like this and learn about all the details, it's easy to see all the care and love that went into the game. I've got Plenty of more videos on the way, so to make sure that you guys don't miss out on anything, please go ahead and check your notification settings. If you go to my channel on your mobile device or on your computer, click on that bell icon to make sure you get notified for every new video. 
And be sure to let me know your thoughts about all this news in the comments down below. We're so close to getting wave six, so let me know which one is your top pack. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to learn all about Wave 7.5 coming to LEGO Dimensions. And don't forget to subscribe.